You demon. What are you doing to it? Out! What are you doing? Eh? I said, what are you doing? <laughs> if you want to see a person with a demon, the first thing you must check the hairs. <laughs> can you take camera to mama? Can you, can you take, can you take camera to mama? To, to mama? Can you take camera to mama for this? <laughs> if you want to see that the person I'm going to do will check the ass. <laughs> the moment when you see the the moment when you see there's some colors colors <laughs> He's telling you how big is the gym. <laughs> uh, <arezi. laughs> but anyhow, everybody needs what? I understand. So don't ever look at that. I've been hearing, I've been, people have been sending me emails of, say, people of Charis. I show mama. They say no. And these people are from outside of America, everywhere there. Others from outside, they say, you say you are delivering people. I must preach to people that the holiness, uh, they must cover their head. I mean, ladies who are wearing trousers, whatever, whatever. Others, they are doing this, they are doing that, they must wear like that. I say, hey, holiness, it, it have got nothing to do with appearance. Yeah. In fact, in fact, before God, we are all naked. Yes. Is it true? Yes. Uh, it's only sin that brought clothes. It's a sin. That, that's why even people who have sinning who are still talking about clothing, this, that. When you, are, you know, when you have got sin cautious, always you'll be saying, people must wear like this. Because you are weak. You, you know when you are weak, Always you be just saying, hey, you're scared, yeah, it must reach here, you're scared. What, what, what are you searching from that scared? Yeah. If, if now I'm called to preach the gospel, must I look at your scared? No. So now, how do we have to preach about the size of the scared? The scared must reach here. They were, where did you find that from the Bible? Even the trouser of a lady, you can't wear it, you brother. You see the trouser... Yes. This, this is a trouser of a lady. Can you just lift it up, Mama, on the side like this? Can you see there? This is a trouser of a lady. A man can wear this. I'm telling you now. Come, come. Let me, see. Let me show you this one on my daughter here. Can you see the trouser of a lady? Just on the side. Can you see? A man can wear this. It have got... Uh, are you watching? <laughs> Stop. I'm getting too much emails. They say you are doing deliverance. I'm answering you. I'm answering you now. I'm doing deliverance. Now, people of Charis are wearing trousers. You can't wear this trouser, uh, my sister, my brother. They are tr a trouser of a man might be straight here. Yeah? It doesn't have extension. Even when you go to the shop, go there, you'll find clothes of a man, clothes of a ladies. I don't know how far you're not educated. Because now, when we are praying with people here, you say these people are tempting us. No, we are not looking on them. We are looking on their heart. Yeah. In their heart. <laughs> so, I'm saying this. I'm not trying to say... People must wear things to show everything that they want to show. No, 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 no. I mean, I've been in the U.S. I saw people wearing things. Others here, they make a tattoo here. So they wear a bokat, they cut it here so that you see the tattoo. So whatever they do, if they've got a tattoo here, they wear, they wear a shirt, they open it up 
for, for you to see it tattoo here. They are doing it, but not Christians. I'm just referring to that one there. That it has got nothing to do with issues of hair uh, or what. If someone has got this style, you can wear this style. You can still come in the church here if you want to have a style. You have got a bucket of water, you put it here. Yeah. As long as you can carry it, it's up to you. You can still put it there, you say amen, you are dancing. As long as it won't affect your neighbor. So if you worship, you stand up, you worship, the bucket is here. And then you've got a glass, you're holding it. You, when you are thirsty, you put your bucket down. It's for you. Whoever does anything in the church is for yourself. So don't involve us. Come, sister. Don't ever think I'm saying this with a joke. I'm getting a lot of emails. And there are people now, they, they think deliverance is close. You must wear reaching here. If you wear reaching here, now you are holy. If you are wearing reaching here, you are holy. And you must cover your hairs. Now you are holy if you cover your hairs. If now you put something here, you are even. You wear rings here. You are even. If you wear a ring, you must wear one and the thinner one. You cannot expect a fat person like my wife to wear a thinner ring. Serious. I'm, I'm just referring to many of you who don't understand. So whatever you do now, wear your trouser. In a church like this, especially because there's issue of rolling. Eh? You people, you must wear. You must really wear. So that when you roll here, those who are sin conscious must not be affected because the Bible says we must not disturb the younger ones because they will have got small babies. When they see something, hey, hey, hey. when they see that, they leave the, the, what God is doing. So where do you come from? Huh? Bruma. Can you see there? How do you expect a person from Bruma not to wear a white hair? Because people there, they've got white. I'm sure you understand that. So let us not judge people by their color or by whatever. I want to pray for you. You'll be delivered today. Amen. Because you are here for deliverance. Yes. Where is your husband? He's at work. Eh? You people here, there's a too much fight in the marriage. Yes. And your husband is telling you that you are disrespecting. Yes. But you are trying to do everything. This is a spirit between you. You have been crying. You want to leave the marriage. Eh? Yes. Eh? yes. So don't leave the marriage. So God loves you. I will pray for you. You stay in your marriage with him. And there will be peace from today. Amen. This spirit is leaving you. Please. You have been crying enough. You have been crying enough. What is happening in your marriage? Can you explain? She has been crying too much. Huh? It's always been a matter of family. You can hear that. So God loves you. I don't want you to talk everything in Jesus' mighty name. Out! Out! So you saw her fighting. It's not her, it was a spirit. Jesus' name, out! You demon. There's going to be peace in a marriage after this. Out! And as I'm praying for her, the family will be united.
Ya Gowi. Ya Gowi. Ya Gowi. Ya Gowi. Ya Gowi. In the name of Jesus. Come on. Ouch. Come on. Put a mic in your mouth. Ouch. Ouch. Leave it. Come on. Leave it. Demon. Jesus name. Live it. You are free. All of us we need deliverance. Lift it up. 